Good morning. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to talk to you. Thank you so much. What an amazing film in the way that here in the States, it's NASCAR and we do get the Indy 500. But man, you bring a new edge to racing inside this movie. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. To hear. I'm so happy to hear that. What was it like to be a part of the, the, remember, this is a beginning, a middle and an end. I mean, you were part of this process. How did you have to study to get into that car? Um, well, you see, you know, I had the chance. I've been lucky because, you know, Cesare, Cesare Fiorio, which is the man who uh, made this movie possible because, you know, he, he basically he lives, I find out because he's from Turin. I'm originally from Puglia, which is like southeastern Italy. Yeah. And uh, so I was talking with a man that was selling furniture. And he said to me, I said, I have this, this wonderful story, you know, about the World, the World Championship of Bradley in 1983. And he said, you know, Cesare Fiorio, he just he lives like 20 kilometers away. I know, I have his number. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, yes. He said, yeah. I said, are you joking? Can you give me his number? Yes, I have it here. Take it. Wow. And I called him. And the day after I, I was in his house, which was basically half an hour away from my my house in Puglia, and uh, and we start talking and chatting, and you know, and he told me everything about uh, that particular a particular world championship, the 1983, which I was like obsessed. I I recognized in this story, like the underdog story. Uh, like a kind of special, special dynamics between, um, you know, two different kind of approach to compete and to 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 deal with a challenge and um, and and you know, and this was very interesting for me uh, to 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 make a movie about the Italians, the Germans. Yeah. Which, in a way, they are so you know, the the attitude we, with the cultural attitude we we have, uh, but it's, it's perfect because you know it's like black and white, yin and yang. Yeah. It's like the Germans and the Italians. We so at the opposite. They are organized, precise. We are com- confusion. You know, like the, this that attitude we have of improvise all the time. So. I said to myself, well, this is something that needs to be, to be told, needs to be uh, known by the world mm-hmm. uh, of cinema, you know, and, and, and it, I did it. Yeah, and it needs to be seen on the big screen because to me, that those car scenes and the emotion of the human being, are, they, need, they need to be bigger than life, not on a flat screen TV. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. It's another, it's another level if you go in theater to watch this movie. Yeah. Uh, believe me, it's another, it's another way to watch the movie. It's another movie. Yeah. What, what's very fascinating about this is the underlying story of how Lancia is on a mission. And it's like, oh, my God, here we go. This is the business world of racing. It's not just about the driver. It's about the business world and what it takes to reinvent and to find that courage and belief in that driver. Yeah, yeah, which is which is a German driver. Yes, this is another <laughs> paradox, you know. So, so the Italians they they uh, they took a German driver to beat the Germans. <laughs> so, uh, a, a German driver that he doesn't want to win, he doesn't want to win because he's bored. Is uh, he, he, he doesn't want to be under you know the sh- under the light of fame. Uh, autographs, you know, photographs, th- that kind of things, interviews. So, um, which that he he farms bees. So it's like a kind of intellectual driver, mm-hmm. uh, a philosopher driver, <laughs> very romantic, that has his own idea of uh, competition and and racing, but the most wonderful driver of the history of Bradley because Walter Roll, that's what he was. Yeah. He is there's no one no one else like him.
Did you learn anything from the way that this movie celebrates exploration? Because there's so much going on that, I mean, it's, it's almost like we have a backstage pass here and you're sharing it with us. Yeah, I mean, yes, also, you know, there is an element that is very important, which is the danger. So mm-hmm. how far you put the limit, you see? Yeah. So because this is also another another thing, you know, we know that when we have an, a difficult challenge, uh, we need to take some risk mm-hmm. uh, to, to win, to, to succeed. But how far you you think you should take those risks? Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there is a limit. There is a limit. Um, because sometimes those risks, they could be fatal for your life and the life of your, your friends. Wow. Mm, so this, those dynamics are, we tried, at least, we tried to explore this kind of uh, dynamics, which is much, there is much more behind hide hidden from in in embracing it's not just a racing movie there's there's those elements you know yeah yeah because i mean you you talk about the limits you once you identify the limit it's almost like the everybody in the movie wanted to push past the limit because you were facing the impossible most people would walk away from that and they and you guys didn't walk away from that in inside this storyline it's you just kept pushing the limit Exactly, exactly, which um, it's something that is part of my life, as, as, as you can imagine, of being an actor, yeah, yeah. you know, as soon as you, you step on the stage, which is for me the most dangerous place in the world, because you basically you're naked, you, you know, there is that kind of sensation of being under a huge risk. Uh, uh, but 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 I'm but I'm used to I'm used to to deal with the, to have control while you actually you try to lose control. Oh God! <laughs> you know what I mean. This I is do. this is basically. But but you can understand me because you are you are an actor. So you know you are someone who's used to be on, on live on radio, which is the same kind of. Sensation, yeah. which is like, uh, so it's, it's always how far you can go. But sometimes you make mistakes and then you say, okay, this is too much. Yep. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you actually, you push yourself a little bit further and you find, oh, well, this is exactly <laughs> where I should be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> did, did it help you to know the story when you went into this movie? Because, I mean, you, like you've mentioned before, I mean, you knew what was going on. So as an actor, it's like, it's, it's almost like you were playing yourself because you already knew the story. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, well, it, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been an exper- incredible experience yeah. also. You have to think that, that me, I play uh, uh, the team manager of Lancia, okay? But I was the producer of the, of the movie. Yes. And basically, being a producer is like being a team manager. It's like uh, the analogy is, is 100% because, you know, he was trying to finance the project. Um, when I say he, Cesare Fiorio, to finance the, the, the project, to have as much as he could elements to win the world championship, you know? Mm-hmm. And me, the same. I tried as much as I could, you know, to have Daniel Brühl involved in the movie, to, you know, to have as much money I could to set up, a, you know, a good budget to win the world championship, which was like, make the movie. You know what I'm saying? So while I was trying to make the movie, I was training myself for, to play my character. <laughs> See, I like that. The, oh my God, that right there is inspiring to, just to hear that because, I mean, it, you have to put your entire self into it. And, and like you said, you, you, you talk about the teamwork inside of this. It had to, the teamwork had to work on the screen, but it also had to work inside everything that was taking, be, you know, taking place off the set. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the thing. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's been it's been a wonderful experience. And also, this um, I 
you know, I just I wanted also to to make a movie with the, with a positive mm-hmm. uh, vibes that gives positive vibes to the, to the audience, like uh, that these people uh, in the eighties they were crazy but naive, uh, and also all the elements we tried to deliver something which is like that together together we can win mm. you see with friendship with the uh, with the uh, i don't want to spoil the end of the movie but you know in a way both of them they win and they've learned something new uh and also it's like um, this cultural attitude that i have because i'm italian from the south <laughs> and because i'm like this you know i believe in this that if we have a problem Come on, let's not make the war. Right. Let's let's solve the problem. Let's find a common point, a common position. You know, let's work for. Let's be together. Let's not fight each other. Yeah. You, you see, with rivalry, competition, for sure. But uh, we need to we need to include uh, the others, mm-hmm. and and because just by yourself. Well, no, it's not enough. We've all seen racing movies. We've all seen racing movies, but this one is unique in the way that the, the racing is something that you physically feel. How, how did you bring the scenes together as the producer? Because, I mean, we don't get to see the students later, then a cut, okay, we keep it. But you, you glue this together in a way that makes it feel like it's factual. Uh, well, we use real cars, uh, real drivers, uh, we, um, the helmet, they were reproduced by, you know, we just, we, we, we were using real stuff hundred percent. Wow. We don't have CGI, VFX. Uh, we avoided completely that kind of, uh, uh, way to, to make the movie. And, uh, it's like a analogical movie. Mm. It's not digital yeah. in a way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's depth in the picture. That's that, you know, it really is because with digital, oh, you know, it gets kind of thin. But no, there, there's a real presence in this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and we we used the real cars, the oh. cars that they, they did that competition that now today they worth like one million each. So we we had the insurance. We had the insurance because at least... <laughs> <laughs> we needed the insurance, but we've been a little bit crazy to make this movie. And also, you know, we don't have, we, is a, is a, an Italian independent film, uh, Italian, French, uh, let's say English, because Jeremy Thomas, he co-produced the movie with me. Yeah. The, you know, the great producer, uh, Jeremy is wonderful. Um, and, uh, but you know, it was not like 50 million budget, you see? So, um, the budget was very, very, very low in a way compared to those big movies that we, we see now today in cinema, like, uh, I don't know, Ferrari, it costs like uh, un- the 10 times our, our budget. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. it was, uh, it was uh, like, uh, um, you know, we, we throw the heart after the obstacle to make this movie, believe me. We did our best. I like it when the budget is low, and the reason why is because it, you get you have that little bit of an ind- independent film kind of a vibe to it. You got to get in there, get that shot, and to me, that's where it's all about. But if you if you keep doing the shot over and over again, I swear viewers can feel that. Exactly, exactly. So we had we had like just one shot. Yes, it's my shot. <laughs> one shot. Let's make it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go for it. You know, uh, it was like uh, this. Is, this was like the attitude. And and we were like a team, like the Lancia team, the crew of the movie. We, because if you think the, the you know, it's the same kind of dynamics. And these people with trailers, like uh, they move around Europe to to do the world championship. That's exactly what we did. Yeah. We had trailers, trucks going around Europe to to make the movie with cars with us. And, and mechanics, drivers, all together, sleeping in the hotels and now for new adventure and just to make 
another piece of the movie, which was like uh, another race mm -hmm. in a way. Mm. So the analogy is like uh, incredible. I love the idea that Lionsgate was a part of this because Lion, Lionsgate has really become that deliverer of great movies and, and that fits right into the way that they tell a story. Yeah, yeah. They were, they were on board on the script. So they completely passed of this project. They supported us very much since the beginning. And I and I'm honored because you know they are um, they they're very strong. They have a good yeah. taste yeah. and and they they helped us and and this is like a like a, a little actually for me it's a big dream that became true that I produce a movie and and now this movie is in the United States, yes. which is something that rarely happens for an Italian project. Wow. Well, you've got to come back to this show any time in the future, because I know this is just the, the first step of your brand new beginning when it comes to producing. No, thank you so much. I hope so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You. Well, you'd be brilliant today, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that.